Turkey's varied landscapes are the product of a wide variety of tectonic processes that have shaped Anatolia over millions of years and continue today as evidenced by frequent earthquakes and occasional volcanic eruptions. Background Turkey's terrain is structurally complex. A central massif composed of uplifted blocks and downfolded troughs covered by recent deposits and giving the appearance of a plateau with rough terrain, is wedged between two folded mountain ranges that converge in the east. True lowland is confined to the Ergena plain in Thrace, extending along rivers that discharge into the Aegean Sea or the Sea of Marmara, and to a few narrow coastal strips along the Black Sea and Mediterranean Sea coasts. Nearly 85% of the land is at an elevation of at least 450 meters. The median altitude of the country is 1,128 meters. In Asiatic Turkey, flat or gently sloping land is rare and largely confined to the deltas of the Kizil River, the coastal plains of Antalya and Adana, and the valley floors of the Gediz River and the Buyuk Menderes River, and some interior high plains in Anatolia, mainly around Tuzgolu and Konya Ovasia. Moderately sloping terrain is limited almost entirely outside Thrace to the hills of the Arabian platform along the border with Syria. More than 80% of the land surface is rough, broken, and mountainous, and therefore is of limited agricultural value. The terrain's ruggedness is accentuated in the eastern part of the country, where the two mountain ranges converge into a lofty region with a median elevation of more than 1,500 meters which reaches its highest point along the borders with Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Iran. Turkey's highest peak, Mount Ararat, about 5,166 meters high, is situated near the point where the boundaries of the four countries meet. Geological History The earliest geological history of Turkey is poorly understood partly because of the problem of reconstructing how the region has been tectonically assembled by plate motions. Turkey can be thought of as a collage of different pieces of ancient continental and oceanic lithosphere struck together by younger igneous, volcanic and sedimentary rocks. Plate tectonics except for a relatively small portion of its territory along the Syrian border that is a continuation of the Arabian plate. Turkey geologically is part of the Great Alpine Belt that extends from the Atlantic Ocean to the Himalaya Mountains. This belt was formed during the Cenozoic era, as the Arabian, African, and Indian continental plates began to collide with the Eurasian plate. This process is still at work today as the African plate converges with the Eurasian plate and the Anatolian plate escapes towards the western, southwest along strike-slip faults. These are the North Anatolian Fault Zone, which forms the present-day plate boundary of Eurasia near the Black Sea coast and the East Anatolian Fault Zone, which forms part of the boundary of the North Arabian Plate in the southeast. As a result of this plate tectonics configuration, Turkey is one of the world's more active earthquake and volcano regions. Rocks Many of the rocks exposed in Turkey were formed long before this process began. Turkey contains outcrops of Precambrian rocks. During the Mesozoic era a large ocean, floored by oceanic lithosphere existed in between the supercontinents of Gondwana and Laurasia. This large oceanic plate was consumed at subduction zones. At the subduction trench as the sedimentary rock layers that were deposited within the prehistoric Tethys Ocean buckled were folded, faulted and tectonically mixed with huge blocks of crystalline basement rocks of the oceanic lithosphere. These blocks form a very complex mixture or melange of rocks that include mainly serpentinite, basalt, dolerite and chert. The Eurasian margin, now preserved in the Pontides, is thought to have been geologically similar to the Western Pacific region today. Volcanic arcs and back arc basins formed and were emplaced onto Eurasia as ophiolites as they collided with microcontinents. These microcontinents had been pulled away from the Gondwanan continent further south. Turkey is therefore made up from several different prehistorical microcontinents. 
During the Cenozoic folding, faulting and uplifting, accompanied by volcanic activity and intrusion of igneous rocks was related to major continental collision between the larger Arabian and Eurasian plates. Earthquakes Turkey's most severe earthquake in the 20th century occurred in Erzincan on the night of 27 December 1939. It devastated most of the city and caused an estimated 30,000 deaths. Earthquakes of moderate intensity often continue with sporadic aftershocks over periods of several days or even weeks. The most earthquake-prone part of Turkey is an arc-shaped region stretching from the general vicinity of Kokaili to the area north of Lake Van on the border with Armenia and Georgia.